the way video games and fine art are integrated are just an extension of the way that they've been made before. Like there's this whole uh, pipeline of making a video game where you start with concept art, which is basically a set of paintings, drawings, maquettes, like sculptures, etc., that basically plan out what the video game will be. There's also the way that the video games are distributed. That's that's one thing that I want to basically bridge into fine art. Like that's where the main difference is where video games are started through traditional like 2D mediums and like hand, hand drawings etc they become a global platform and that's some, something where i think uh, fine art could benefit from my name is leo castaneda i'm a visual artist but i primarily work with video games and the intersection of video games and fine art I grew up in a family of artists, so both my parents uh, started as artists and they went into architecture, so they had me drawing since I was two years old. My grandmother is from the Amazon, she's also a painter, and they, they all kind of explored this intersection of like abstraction and representation, so I was really influenced by their aesthetic. At the same time, I was starting to play video games and, and watching anime and stuff, so I think both those uh, influences collided into the, the aesthetic and my interests. This is a work in progress version of the, the demo to the video game. You're basically running around this, uh, this landscape where you can't identify what's liquid, solid, or gas, where all the, the elements are kind of interchangeable. There's multiple bosses. I came up with like a pantheon of 12 abstracted entities. The boss is not necessarily scary. Like I, I want to also challenge that that idea in video, that in video games it's an entity that you're supposed to kill to surpass. So the landscapes that I'm working on have more of a sublime, like romantic painting quality. For many years I've been creating paintings, drawings, and sculptures structured under the, the hierarchies of video games. Basically progressing through a series of paintings and drawings and then reaching uh, an understanding like or like delineating like which is a certain level, which is a certain boss, and then it's built over time to to then uh, now start to become an actual video game. But it started as a painting and drawing practice. If you look behind me, there's some paintings that are more like like fully hand painted, and they're and they're made from screenshots of the virtual creation process. Through the collages, I've been able to use a combination of uh, printing and, and, and drawing and, and painting together. So it's been this uh, really freeing method of combining some of the, the concept art of the video game with just like more free drawings and, and part of the 3D modeling process. I started the series when I was in my third year of undergrad as a way to uh, surpass artist block. So it's been nine years since, since then. I anticipate in the in the tangible way, like when it comes to just the video game, at, at least five years of development within the traditional video game pipeline. But within that process, hundreds if not thousands of uh, screenshots or different images from the game will, will come out. Uh, hundreds if not thousands of different drawings, paintings, etc. will be generated. And even if I finish the actual game successfully, I don't think it'll stop then because all those, all that source material will become material that I can work with forever.